morning everybody it's Easter Sunday it's currently 6 30 a.m. I'm up early don't know why um, <laughs> you guys don't know I normally go to bed late or I should say early technically because I go to bed at like 4 a.m. <laughs> uh, let me sit down um, I literally fell asleep in a tiny wooden chair with my sheet over my shoulders like this. And it was comfy. Um, hold on. I may go back to bed. I'm <laughs> instinct. Oh no. Oh no. Anyways, it is morning. I do have to get up and go. But hold on. Let me, let me put this down. How the heck did I get this over my shoulders earlier? Gosh dang it. There we go. Okay, cool. Cool. Much better. I actually had my head against here, and I dozed off. Um, so I was actually working on something. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm out of <sighs> Alright, um, so Justin and, I were, Justin and I were up almost all night, trying to work on a project for Easter. Um, for YouTube, by the way. Well, it's not just YouTube, it's something I'm just gonna do. Um, so a long time ago, I mentioned, I don't know if I actually mentioned it, crap. I was going to do a dating simulator uh, for Valentine's Day. I ended up not doing it because it was a bit too late and I just figured, well, it's just too late to do it now. Um, but um, just and I started working on a project, which was a dating simulator card game type of thing. And it works pretty interestingly. I'm going to do a video on it. It won't be today because I didn't finish it. Um, Jess actually had to head out to somewhere in California. I don't even remember where it is, but somewhere in California. She is currently out in California. She was up until like 3 a.m., got a few hours of sleep, then left like 30 minutes ago. That's why I'm up probably because she woke me up um, on her way out by accident. Um... But yeah, so her and I were working on this all night. We were trying to get it done for Easter. Isn't going to be done in time. But basically what it is, is it's a um, dating simulator that is basically in the form of cards. And basically what you do is you have characters, you have the uh, types of characters they are, uh, what they like. Um, and yeah, but then you also have, for each character, have different colored cards. Um, you start off with a gray card, um, which is basically like colorless, that's basically how you start off. And then each choice, basically you put in a scenario of like a, like a dating sim would have, and your choice is listed on different cards, um, and the colors are not actually on there. That's the interesting thing. Um, you don't know... Basically, there's different paths you can take for different characters. Um, there is going to be a version where... Sorry. Oh. I got like three hours of sleep, probably. Um, I fell asleep around 3.30, about a half an hour after Jess did, so... I'm pretty tired. Um, I, d I haven't gotten sleep in like two days, though, so I'm still tired from that. Um... Basically, though, you go through the story by whatever choices you make has a letter um, on it, basically, that leads into the next scenario. However, you don't know if it was the good choice or the bad choice until you get into the next scenario. So it's kind of like a, a story-driven card game, but it's a dating sim. And Jess and I were working on an Easter version of it, which is why we were up all night. It isn't going to be done today. Hopefully within this next week I'll do it. Um, basically, it's just a, it's like a one-player kind of dating simulator thing, but with cards. Honestly, I thought it was pretty clever. Jess actually was the one who brought up the, the idea to my attention. I was like, why isn't there a dating sim card game? Like, there's games that, that are like, um, like story-based, but there's no dating sims. I'm like, oh, there is now. And we just started making a card game. And originally it was like characters who I had made up who were just like OCs of mine or just characters I made up on the spot and liked the idea of. Um, but then for the Easter one we were going to do special characters who were actually characters I literally made up this past week. 
Uh, we've been working on it for like a week straight, by the way. Not a week straight, but a week uh, for a few hours each day. Um, and most of them are not really Easter related, but they're kind of like holiday related in general. But one of them is a bunny girl, which is the one I was actually in charge of developing with the character um, plot. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, basically though, Jess was in charge of... Okay. Why? Um, Jess was in charge of looking over the cards, making sure the story lined up. I was in charge of writing the cards, making sure that each path was kind of spoken for. Now, the thing was, I had to, for the pads, since there's like multiple ways it branches off, I have to literally take the cards, look at them, like, make a story with one path story, and then I have to go back, and grab the cards I already did, put them in front of me, and then continue a story from like where those cards left off. Kind of like, just because, the thing is, like, since there's different branches, the ending is going to be different. Or some, 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 actually, some... Uh, branch of the story loop back into another a different branch so you can actually do two different results and then go to two different paths but then still end up with the same result so that is a thing in this um, but it's like really complex to make actually it's really difficult to for me at least my brain has trouble like comprehending the actual like story function of it of like making everything line up perfectly so it won't be today but there were a few characters who um I was actually really looking forward to making and putting in the, the card game and making their own story and everything. Which, by the way, you can make your own dating sim anytime. It's really actually pretty easy. All you need is cards. Just, like, index cards. That's what we were using. Um, but I want to point out that uh, um, the I do have a rough draft, which I may do the video on because, honestly, the final draft isn't going to be done. The rough draft is just basic index cards that I had drawn out. But then, uh, Jess actually was the one who was in charge of making the decisions of what answers lead to what. So basically, the way it goes is you have 1A, what, uh, the answer's like A, B, C, and D, basically. Um, and whatever choice you, t you make goes into whatever the next question is. So if you're on question number, or scenario number one, it was like, you have 1A, 1B, 1A. C and 1D, and then whatever choice you make, you go on to then that scenario, and then that one will have 2A, 2B, 2C, 2C, 2D, 2D. God, it's so hard for me to do that. Um, and yeah, so like you just do it that way. But the thing is, like, with those scenarios, it's hard to get the numbers right. Um, because of the way it lines up, like I said, the story of it is really like complex to actually make. But, um, we, we had a rough draft and everything, but Jess is in charge of making sure that choices that I wrote down, because the choices are things that, like, I would do as these characters that you get to, like, go after, which I know, I know who the characters are, I don't know what my answers, like, go towards, because to be honest, Jess was in charge of actually making them directed towards a character, I was just doing, like, if it was me, how I'd go for a guy or a girl, depending on what the scenario was. Because um, there is a, there is, you can go after guys or girls in this kind of story-based thing. Um, but, like, I would give responses of, like, what responses I would probably have available to me in certain scenarios. And Jess was in charge of what would go to who. So, I don't really know where the story goes with those responses. I was given the, or, I was basically, I wrote down the scenario, um, Jess, basically, by the way, Jess is in charge of doing, like, the final draft of cards. She's in charge of writing them out. Which is also why it probably the final draft probably won't be done this week because she's in charge of making them fancy. My handwriting sucks. So, um, and she's out for like three or four days. So, it's kind of not an option uh, to have her finish it this week. So, I'm probably just going to do the rough draft of it, which is just messier handwriting and just not as detailed, I guess. But Jess was in charge of like writing everything out and making sure that everything uh, lined up correctly after I basically... Like, I would do it and then she would do a second check, basically. Um, it, was a, it was a dual kind of thing. We were both doing it. Um, it was both our ideas. Um, but yeah, so I don't know where scenarios go or what choices lead to what scenarios. I know some of the scenarios that I wrote for the answers, but I don't know what the, the questions that lead to those answers are. You know what I mean? 
Does that make sense? Like, I don't know what the answers are that lead into certain scenarios or what the questions are that have the answers that lead into this. I'll have to explain it better when I get to the actual video of it, but it will not be done today at Easter. Um, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, it's just not going to happen in time. I'll try and finish it tonight when I get back from my grandparents' house because I'll be at my grandparents. Damn, it's too early for me. Huh. It's 6.41 right now. Um, yeah, I, I will be, I'll be at my grandparents' for most of the day. So, probably around like 7-ish I'll be back. So, I'll try and finish it tonight. And then tomorrow or the next day I'll try and do the video on it. I can't guarantee anything. Uh, it'll be before Friday for sure. But, like, I can't guarantee anything right away. So, um, yeah, look forward to that. And honestly, if I do that video, it's going to be specifically me trying to get the bunny girl um, story of it. Because in Dating Sims, you have multiple different characters you can go after. And there's different things you have to do for different characters. Um, so, like, different choices will lead to different paths. And those paths are kind of what chooses who you're with at the end, if you're with anyone. Um, there are There is a way to get no one at the end. And there is a way to... One of the, I do know one of the, uh, the endings is to be single by choice and instead to look in a mirror and be a selfish prick. <laughs> that is literally one of the options in this game. Um, it's basically to be in love with yourself. Uh, I just thought it was a funny thing to throw in there. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if it'll be an excuse for being single or if it'll be the actual reason of being single. Like, I don't know if there's going to be like, well, I prefer myself anyways. Or if it's going to be like, oh, head on me. You're so sexy kind of thing. You know what I mean? Um, anyways, I just thought it was a funny option at the end. Uh, and Jess agreed, so we'll put that in there for sure. Um, but for the most part, like, different paths lead to different characters, if you even get a character. And, um, yeah. So, I'm going to specifically try and get the bunny girl, who I will not name yet, because she has... Well, no, I'll name her. Um, I was gonna name her Red Blaze, but then I chose to name her something else. So I named her Red Cinder. I just like the name Red for a bunny, I'm just saying. Actually, damn it, I just realized velvet is a color of red. I always thought velvet was a color of brown, and for some reason like, that's the first thing that comes to brain. I know it's a color of red, it's a shade of red. But for some reason I always think it's brown, on instinct. Crap, I'm gonna have to change her name. Fuck. Because, honestly, the way I describe her is very much like velvet. So, shoot. Bunny girls are always shy from what I, like, think of. I don't know why. I gotta think something. Okay, I'll have to rename her. Her name will be, uh, will... You know what? I may actually change her name. I may have to change a lot of the names for these characters, actually, now that I think about it. Because a lot of the characters are based off color, and that's kind of stupid. Uh, <laughs> Onyx Black is one of the characters you can go for. He's, he's, it's a different version of Onyx Black than I'm used to talking about. But he's, uh, he's in the story you can get. Onyx is in... Well, Onyx Black is literally the color black, so, uh, then there's, who else was there? Crap. Well, there's a bunch of characters that are named after colors. Um, crap, I can't even think of any. Oh, Char. Char is another one, because I was thinking of, Char, uh, Char, Char Blank, I think I named him, which is, like, the color blank, so it's white. Do you, you get it? Um, well, it's like charcoal or char, or like ash could be white or whatever. Anyways, um, and there was like, who else was there? I don't know. I named a lot of characters after colors. I have to think of characters that aren't named after colors. Um, oh my god, I just realized Naomi Nelson, who is a character I made up, uh, we'll get into her later on. Um, her nickname is Pinky. Fuck, I named even their nicknames after colors. Crap, I have to think of their characters. Oh, well, um, I have a list of characters, but the ones in the game, there are three of them that are named after colors, unless you count, um, the bunny girl who will be, who would have been four. So, oh, I'll think of a new name for her. I was gonna name her, was I gonna name her Red Cinder? I can't remember what I was gonna name her. It was like Red Cinder, Red Branch, I don't remember, Red Dryad. That sounds stupid. I don't know. But she, she has, like, she's, I don't know. Um, I'll have to rename her. I, I like the name Cinder for a bunny rabbit. Like, as a last name. But at the same time, a first name is more difficult for me. 
I was just thinking Chelsea Center. Too much alliteration. I always do alliteration. Um, let's do... I think something that's catchy. I'm gonna think of it right now, by the way. I'm not I'm not pausing the video for this. I need to think of a good name for her. Shoot. Crap. But Rachel. Rachel Cinder. Or Ray. I like the name Ray for short. Ray Cinder. That actually, I, I, I like that. Rachel Cinder, or for short, Ray. I do like that, actually. I might call her that. Okay, well, anyways, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, look forward to that. I will also be uploading more Pokemon videos today. Um, because I have, I have, like, four of them stored up that I was going to upload yesterday. Um, but I chose not to because um, today I won't really have anything else to upload. Yesterday I have stuff that, um, that happened and I chose not to upload one of the Pokemon videos. Um, actually, no, I didn't, no, it wasn't, okay, I was, I uploaded a part of the Pokemon video, or I was gonna, there was part of the Pokemon video I had to cut out, uh, at the end it was like an outro kind of thing, where I was talking about how I was gonna upload everything all at once, um, because of the, uh, fact that I couldn't wait for the Reggie Pokemon, but I decided to cut that out because I also talked about how, um, I didn't know what to name the series, and I ended up naming that episode... Snorlax Saturday, but now it's gonna be Snorlax Sunday Because Saturday is the day where I'm like still falling asleep and then Sunday is the day where I'm like pure lax Anyways. Uh, I ran out of ideas for that, but I uh, yesterday I had some stuff going on and I was like mm. I don't really want to upload that many videos today. I'll, up I'll upload all of them tomorrow So yeah, I have like 50 episodes I gotta upload at some point. Uh, not really. I have like four episodes of Pokemon I'm gonna upload probably today and then I have a bunch more I'm going to be recording t tomorrow, probably on Monday or whatever, whatever day I get a chance to. Um, I have a bunch of that I've recorded, I think four of them. Um, but actually, like, I'm going to upload all four of them and I'm going to record more because I really want to get to the part where I see the Reggies. Because they're, they're my favorite in this game. They're so cool. I don't even know why I'm so obsessed over them. They're just Pokemon. They're not actually that good either in the, in the game. Actually, yeah, they were. I forgot, because I could take out a Reggie, uh, uh, not a Reggie, uh, Rayquaza that my friend had in, like, one hit. I forgot what move it was. it Charge Beam? I don't remember. But I taught one of them this one move that was, like, a Thunder-type, Electric-type, and it just, like, one shot at my friend's Rayquaza, which was, like, level 100. And I think my Reggie was, like, only level 80-something. And it was funny because, uh... He barely dealt any damage. I think it was actually Reggie Steel he was attacking. But he dealt like two, like, two hundred... Well, I dealt like over 200 damage to him and he dealt like maybe 15 damage to me. Because I one shot at him, he dealt 15 damage to me and I was just like, good job. And he's, by the way, he's an expert Pokemon player. He knows more than I do. Um, and he's actually, he's way better at battles than I am. Which is saying a lot, because when it comes to actual Pokemon battles, I'm pretty damn good. Um, strategy with picking my moves and picking how to use them is huge for me, as well as the Pokemon who use them. So, especially recently I've been looking more at the stats of, uh, now that there's, like, items in the game that can, like, the Super Trainer, or whatever it's called, with the Bottle Caps and all that. That's something I have to, I've, like, been looking at the stats a lot more of. Anyways, I'll answer that in a later video. But, yeah, um, strategies are actually pretty damn good, now that I think about it, because... Like, in a game where, like, they're kind of, like, the side legendaries, they're not really, like, that important to the story or anything, like the other ones are. But at the same time, their stats are better than most of the Pokemon in the game, from what I remember. And, uh, they can't learn, like, one-hit KOs, like Groudon and Quaza. Or Groudon and, uh, Kyogre. Not Rayquaza, probably can't learn one-hit KOs. But, they, but they are pretty damn good. I will admit the move sets they could learn back in this generation, it wasn't as good as it is now. Now they can learn so many newer moves that are so much better. Actually, I think Black and White introduced a ton of moves that they could learn that were so much better. Anyways, I'm ending the video here, okay? I keep going over my time. I'm, I'm just currently below my time, which is 20 minutes, so yeah, I got 10 more seconds before, or 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. 15 seconds before, okay, before, my, before my, my, my time is up. Okay, bye, bye everyone. Hope to see all of you in the next video. Just kidding, you'll see me because the videos are one-sided. Bye-bye. Yeah.